I'm Rob. And I'm Louie. And this is the Don't Look Down VR Review by Barefoot Gaming. So Louie, what is Don't Look Down? Aside from them telling us not to look down, do you ever look down, Louie? I look down. You have I to look down. You have to look down a lot, yeah. actually, in this game. I like to look down. Sometimes there's lava. Or just infinite space to drop. Multiple different worlds, four in fact, and they all have a very different looking dynamic. Yes. So one will be like a lava, one will be like a jungle, etc, etc. And within each, there are a bunch of levels inside of each yep. world. Now, Louis, what else do you do in the game? You get to climb on ropes and pillars and you get to destroy all the plethora of enemies in this game. So the main point of the game is to go from where you start up to a flag. You yes. have to climb the flagpole, grab the flag, do this as fast as you can. Yep. There is an online leaderboard that you're trying to get ranked as high as you can. There's also hidden things. Yep. There are power-ups such as shields, uh, jetpacks. So I'm going to mention the fact that sometimes this stuff is just hidden in hard to reach areas. Yes. Sometimes it's hidden behind walls that you have to break. Yes. And a very important point that I have to mention is you can't fall too far or else you're dead. Now it doesn't yes. matter whether there's ground underneath or not, yeah. but they use like this grid. Can you explain the grid? Uh, the grid is a laser field that when you're falling, because you can see more of the course ahead of you, and you're like, I don't want to climb all the way down. I'm just going to jump and hope for the best. And you start falling and you're going, looks good, I'm going to grab on, and a laser field appears and it obliterates your character. So it prevents you from, it's the way that it prevents you from bypassing a bunch of the challenging stuff. Yes. Otherwise you can hold on at the top, throw yourself off, grab a rung very close to the bottom if that's where you're trying to get to, yep. and then you could finish lickety split while now they're making you go down yes. a, a slower path. You can drop a ways, yeah. but not too far. There's also bosses. Yes, there are bosses. There's crazy bosses they're kind of different from all the other enemies that you fight but they're also the gameplay doesn't change that much and it's it's not you're not going to be thrown out of your element all of a sudden and there are a variation of enemies now there's hornets that fly around there's yes. bombs that have little cages around them that you can yep. grab onto what else there's electric zappy ones there's just spiky ones ones that shoot yeah, and there's spiky ones where you go, oh no, this one doesn't have handles, and then the handles pop in and out different than most of the other ones. And if you grab them by the handles, you can throw them at the other enemies to clear up yes. the space. I think the only other thing we haven't talked about is customization. Yep. You can also customize by like doing very well in the levels and stuff. Yes. What can you customize? You can customize your gloves. It's called energy, I believe and it'll change the, the little light up colors in your hands. And the hands are kind of articulate and you can move your thumbs if you're rubbing them on the, on the track pads and, and they're pretty cool. Uh, so needless to say, there are a bunch of different ways yes. that you can customize and modify your character to get through the level. All right, so I think we're ready to actually do some pros, do some cons, let's score this. This game is going for $19.99 US, $28 Canadian. Uh, it's on sale right now, but I mean, it's only because it's just launched. It'll be, again, 20 pounds. Louis, pros, cons, give me your score and tell me why. Pros are, it's a fun kind of climbing game. Uh, you get to leap and try your best to grab onto the next side. I like the different enemies, and you got to figure out each one's strength and weakness. Uh, the zappy ones, you can't grab them while they're crackling with electrical energy then they'll stop and you can grab them throw them away or throw them at someone else and you get to keep climbing and they're large expansive levels but one of my cons is you only really have one path to go they're very linear you go left right up down and there's only one way to get to the end and i think that's a pretty fair criticism yeah maybe there's a couple where you can vary a little bit but mostly there is the right way to go and anything that you take aside from that is just going to bring you to yeah. like one of the bonuses it's not actually going to get you to the end faster yes, correct anything else i'm going to give this two out of five and i'm going to give it a low score because the levels even though they're fun they're just the same one after another the bosses are great but the levels are just too much the same one one after another so i'm gonna i'm gonna start with pros uh the developer is a really nice guy 
yes. uh, put that right out there. Developer is a great guy, so that's a pro. And I like to support developers that are uh, passionate about doing what they want to do. And, and that does deserve to be said. The graphics, they look uh, all right. They're not going for photorealism. Yeah. Um, I, the assets that he used, uh, you know, I haven't seen them particularly in other games before, but they don't really like, like having the Hornet flying around and stuff. I, I guess I think he's taking part of his inspiration from like Super Mario Brothers platformers. Yeah. And I get that, but it, it doesn't feel, it feels medium polished to low polished. But again, one guy did it. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to say the fact that it doesn't really feel like there's multiple ways to complete levels, that, that takes away some of the joy for me. The fact that a lot of the levels, if you were to just change the environment, they would start feeling like the other ones. They have multiple options for uh, preventing motion sickness, which will matter, because yeah. if you're easily susceptible, it has the ability to put in bounding boxes and to scale different abilities mm -hmm. to hopefully make you feel less nauseous. And you can play this sitting, you can play it standing. Uh, room scale doesn't really make sense, but you do need to make sure that you like have room to be able to reach. Yeah. They did a good job at being able to capture momentum, and I think that's important for the kind of game that he was creating. That's vitally important, and he did a good job yeah. with it. In the end, for me, I was not really interested to keep going back into the game. I, I played through this more as a favor to the developer than I did as, as just joy for me. And that's not to say that you're not going to have fun with this game. Yeah. This might be right up your alley, and at the 28 Canadian or, you know, $20 US, you are going to get uh, maybe two and a half hours of fun out of this. That's that's rough. Yep. Hour and a half if you just s sailed right through it. I, I would play it for a lot longer trying to go start to finish because I sucked at it. It was fun, but I sucked at it. But in the end, for me, I, I honestly, I can't give it higher than a two out of five. And developer, I'm sorry. I think you did a good job, especially doing this as an individual. Yes. Um, and I, this might be something that you gamers are going to want to try. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I, I it didn't really hold my attention. So I'm scoring a 2 out of 5. That's our review. Yes. If you have any questions, leave them below. As always, we will do our best to respond. Uh, like if you like it. Share if you want to share yeah. it. Guess what subscribe does? Ah, Who even knows? Who even knows? Thank you so much for watching another Barefoot Gaming Review. We will talk to you again real soon. See ya. Bye.